Okay, so I think it's safe to say that most of us are in college today not only to further our education, but to prepare us for a professional world in a professional environment. Um, and sadly today, being qualified for a job or a position isn't enough. You have to not only know what you're talking about, but look like you know what you're talking about and look like you're ready for a professional world. And number one uh, that comes with that, or one of those things that can make you look so professional and so formal is a tie. And sadly, most people don't know how to properly tie a tie or do any kind of knot for a tie. So um, today I'm going to be teaching you three basic knots for a tie. First, the uh, four in hand knot, which is probably the simple and, and fastest one you can do. Um, the half Windsor knot, which is a little more involved, but still looks nice and has kind of a more of a triangle shape to it. And then the full Windsor, which is really more for like formal events, like a, a wedding or something more formal like that. But um, all, all useful to know and all will make you look very, very professional. So you don't look like a fool with a clip-on tie like this. So let me get this tacky thing off. <laughs> and before you even begin to try to knot your tie or anything, you're going to want to have a jacket off if you're wearing one because that could get in the way and mess up your collar. So we're going to grab our tie, we put it around our neck, make sure it's not uh, wrinkled up or anything like that. We're going to want our broader side, which is the thicker one, on our right and our narrower side on the left. So remember this first one is the four in hand knot. So this one is pretty simple and if you're in a rush for time or you're just going for work or just getting ready for work, this is one that you can do nice and easy real quick. So um, we want to make sure that the narrower side, especially on this, is kind of around our belt area, either just below our belly button or like right above our belt. So once we have it there, what we're going to do is we're going to get our broader side and we're going to put it under the narrow one. So we got that. And then we're going to get our index finger and our middle finger. And we're going to keep it right there so we can bring our broader side back to the right side. I know I'm holding it with my left hand, but it's back on the right side. We're going to bring it over, under. And you see my fingers are already right there with the loop. Ready to, oops. So there's our four in hand knot. Really simple and fast. Not too many uh, tasks with that. Now, if you notice, my tie is a little lower than um, than the broader part of my tie. If that happens, it's real easy to just stick it in your shirt. Or <laughs> you know, really, really stick it in your shirt. Not a problem. And like I said, the tie should come down to about you know, below your belly button, right at about your belt. So, there we go, your forehand hand tie. Next, next knot we're going to do is the half Windsor, which is, so we're going to start it about, you know, the same way. But this, this knot actually uses a lot more of the tie than the forehand hand. So we might want to start it a little higher up, with our narrower side a little higher up, not as maybe above the belly button a little bit. So. What we're going to do for this one, we're going to start it off just like we did with the forehand. hand. We're going to go over, bring it under again like we had it. Then this time we're going to feed it through the top. So once it's fed through the top, you'll see that the seams of the tire are all facing you. So the seam should be or face, facing you as in facing away from me. So. As we do that, we're going to feed it through the, uh, oops, what am I doing? Sorry, um, just like the foreign hand, I have my two index, my index and my middle finger right here. Just going to bring it around, wrap it through again, and we have our loop for our half Windsor. And if you can see in comparison to the foreign hand that I, oops, it's not there anymore. It's a little more. It's a little more triangular and uh, a little more clean looking than just the quick foreign hand. So take this one off. So next, if you're going to a wedding or a job interview or a, a great date and you want that next date, um, you might want to go for the full Windsor because it's it's probably the nicest, cleanest uh, knot you can do. So 
The same thing, just like with the, with the last one with the half Windsor, it's going to use even more of the tie. So you're going to want to start it even higher now, so maybe to about your sternum level. So same thing, just like the other one, we're going to wrap our broader side around under the narrow side. We're going to oops, sorry. bring it under so that it comes out. And we're on our right side again. Then now we're going to bring the narrow side over the broad side again. And then now put this through on the top. Oops, sorry. Uh, wrap this around. Uh, I messed this one up. Uh, all right, so let's, let's start this one again. So back to where we were, going over, under, through the top. So again, we have the seams facing you. I'm bringing it over again, and through the top. Obviously, you guys will see it's much easier to do in a mirror or something like that. But I'm bringing it through the top, I have that loop again. Ready to go right through the top. Uh, and, oops. And there we have the more triangular Windsor knot. So today I showed you uh, three basic ways to tie a tie. Um, just to get you more prepared and looking a lot more clean and ready for a professional interview or that date or whatever it happens to be. Um, so, yeah, thank you.